In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another way that we can calculate concentration. So in our last video, we talked about percent by mass, and today we're going to be looking at percent by volume. The technique is virtually identical, where before we were using mass in terms of grams and kilograms. Now we're going to be talking about percentages in terms of volume, like milliliters and liter. I think it's important to note that unlike with the molarity calculation, you do not have to have a specific unit in use in order to calculate with percent by volume. You just need to make sure that your unit in your numerator and the num unit in your denominator and your problem are the same. So let's take a look at this. Usually we use this when our solute is alcohol, but really it can be used anytime you have two liquids in solution. If you've bought um, a bottle of hydrogen peroxide, for example, most hydrogen peroxide that you get from your drugstore is 3% hydrogen peroxide, which means it's 3% by volume. Because um, hydrogen peroxide itself is a liquid, and it's 3%, the other 97% has to be something, well, it's water. Um, nowadays, there's lots and lots of talk about alcohol percentages because certain percentages of alcohol and water are better than others for disinfecting and for cleaning. Lots of people want to run out and get 90% alcohol or 99% alcohol. And that's actually a really bad idea because in order to penetrate the cell membranes of a pathogen, the alcohol has to be combined with a certain percentage of water. And that 70% alcohol to 30% water um, seems to be the right balance. So you might hear a lot about that um, specifically lately. Now we always want to, again, make sure that our unit for volume is consistent. Milliliters have to be working with milliliters, liters with liters. And let's go to our formula. So our formula here is percent volume is your volume of your solute divided once again by your volume of your solution. Notice it's not your volume of your solvent because in this instance we are talking about everything is a liquid. So you've got whichever one is the solute is usually the thing we have in lesser amount, okay, um, in your volume of solution. Once again, talking about liquids. So let's jump straight in to an example problem. I'm going to pause for a second. If you want to try to solve this problem on your own, go ahead. All right, let's work this one out. What is the percent by volume concentration of 20 milliliters of ethanol dissolved in 50 milliliters of water? So my solute is my ethanol, my solvent is my water. But remember, my formula is percent volume equals volume of solute over volume of solution. So in order to get my volume of my solution, I once again am going to have to add together both of these quantities. So I have my 20 milliliters of ethanol, and to get my volume of solution, I'll be adding that 20 milliliters of ethanol to my 50 milliliters of water. And then we will multiply by 100. So this essentially becomes 20 divided by 70 times 100, this will equal our percent by volume. So if we work that out, we get a percent by volume. 2 divided by 70 is going to give us 0.29. When we multiply that by our 100, so 2 divided by 70 gives us 2 point, or sorry, 0 0.29. We multiply by our 100, and that is going to give us then 2, sorry, 29 percent as our final answer. Let's try another problem. How many milliliters of ethanol would be in 80 milliliters of an aqueous solution if the concentration was 20 percent by volume? So here they are giving us our volume of our solution, so we're not needing to add anything, but they're asking us to solve for our solute. So we're solving for our milliliters of ethanol here. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, that means that our solute is our unknown. We are dividing that 
by our 80 milliliters of solution, we are still multiplying by 100. And we're going to solve for x, and we already know that it is 20% by volume. So the way that I solve problems like this, and I'm just going to switch my color up here, well, let's do blue, is I divide both sides of my equation by 100 in order to get rid of that. So that becomes x milliliters over 80 milliliters equals 0 0.20. Oops, I'm not going to need that percent anymore. And then when I go to solve this, the most effective thing to do is to put that over 1 and then do a good old cross multiply to solve. So that would be 0 0.20 times 80 equals x. And when we do that, we get x equals 16. So my volume of my, or sorry, my ethanol solute would be 16 milliliters. And that's it. It's virtually identical to what you're doing with percent by mass. Once again, you just need to check and make sure you're keeping your units consistent.